Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to do um, picture manipulation and such as the images you see in the background I'll open up an actual image for you so as you can see I blended in the shapes with the image and I made it look like it's inside the image and I had little cracks there so yeah it's pretty nice and added some lighting effects Okay, so I'll be teaching you how to do all that, color correction, blending the objects in. Okay, so let's drag the pictures that we were going to use um, into our uh, Photoshop. And let's start off with basic color correction. So first of all, unlock the layer and then go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast, put brightness to around uh, 12 okay contrast to 60 and if I uncheck preview you can see that there's a bit of a difference already and then click OK then image adjustments levels and bring this side a little bit to the right until it says 10 and then OK then again image adjustments uh, vibrance in this picture I would prefer to decrease vibrance it's up to you but I like when it's decreased so I put it to minus 62 and saturation um, put it to minus 8 and then as you can see there's a change and then click OK and then go to image adjustments and color balance this is basically color correction right there uh, for mid tones I would put uh, red a bit of red like 18 and then shadows I put a little bit of blue plus 15 blue a bit of cyan minus 9 cyan okay yeah I guess that's pretty much all for color correction uh, let's create a new layer and let's um, you know let's create borders on the side of the picture like black uh, fading and to do that grab a gradient tool and select the mode to our uh, radial gradient and then click uh, you know this thing to edit gradient and then click on this one which is transparent so one side is transparent one side is black and just flip these sides like so and these two and then click OK if you need to change the opacity in case you don't have this kind of thing just click on the top tab and then change the opacity just so you know and then click OK and uh, let's zoom out a little bit and just uh, drag like so out of the picture and you can see that there's uh, black fading around the picture I think it looks pretty nice okay so now let's drag in our uh, shapes that we're gonna be using uh, one of them is this shape let's put it in let's hold shift and drag this down to make this a little smaller and then put it just somewhere over here and hit enter and then if you're on like one of these tools like erase or gradient and just click on it and it will make it uh, edible editable object <coughs> I said edible um, <laughs> now let's do some color correction on it so select it and go to image adjustments brightness and contrast increase the brightness to 14 contrast to um, 66 then click OK and image adjustments, levels, and same thing, 
just bring this up a little then image adjustments uh, vibrance and for some reason it's not even doing anything oh yeah it is actually I would bring up a, the vibrance a little bit to make it look uh, nice it's not gonna ruin it in any way okay then image adjustments and color balance and change this uh, mid tones to a bit of red and then shadows to blue let's just increase red a little more then click OK and now drag this layer down below our black uh, mask OK uh, now uh, now let's make uh, create uh, lighting effects uh, that will simulate the light coming from up and from up above and then down here is going to be black as if it's a shadow so to do that select our shape layer go to uh, dodge tool and then just uh, go over the top click on the very top more than you would uh, in the middle here and then just click a little bit on the middle okay and then grab a burn tool and do the same thing on the bottom except make it's gonna make it darker um, for some reason it's stuck okay that's no, not anymore. Okay, I think that looks okay. Um, now let's <clears throat> now let's uh, what are we what was I gonna do? Uh, now let's draw shadows. So grab a uh, paint tool or what is it? Paintbrush. And then uh, keep the size at 172 picks and hardness 0. And for this specific picture, you know, that's the size you want it to, to be. But it depends on uh, what picture you're using. And in some pictures, you'll have to copy the shape of what you want to create the shadow for and just uh, flip it over and lay it down on the ground. But in this case, it won't be needed. Uh, so yeah, just uh, let's create a new layer, and now paint over it like so. Okay, just repeat the shape. Okay, and then grab a eraser tool and make the sides much bigger like 400 and just go like like that let's grab a paint to paintbrush tool again to fill up those uh, gaps okay and then again uh, eraser tool to kind of make it less um, <clears throat> make it less what was it gonna say uh, opacity so that it blends in with the pavement or the asphalt okay so and then you can just mess around with the opacity if you want to you can also mess around with the blending mode you can change it maybe one of them looks better I think this one looks pretty cool. Looks like a shadow. Okay, so I'll keep it at this at overlay. All right. Um, I guess we can move on to another shape. 